New at 11 tonight, we're taking a closer look at the push to bring back a piece of history. Sabin Rock in West Haven was once the Coney Island of Connecticut, just a bustling amusement park. Well, it's long since closed, but there's a new opportunity to bring it back and relive those glory days. Our Scott McDonald tells us there's an effort now to bring an iconic carousel back to the West Haven area. <laughs> See you at the rock. The history stretches back to the turn of the century. Decades of memories were made at the Savin Rock Amusement Park. I remember it as a kid, yeah, going down there, great graduation time and all, you know, uh, and enjoying, uh, you know, the rides. The rides are now long gone, but a new vision has been set. Well, more like a fantastic opportunity, according to Michael Mercuriano, chairman of the West Haven Carousel Committee. That is the last uh, carousel to leave. At one time, we've had six ca carousels spinning at one time down at uh, Savin Rock. The hope is to bring back one authentic, vintage, restored carousel and put it right next to the rock along the Connecticut West Haven shoreline. What we have right now is for a 60-foot car carousel. An Oregon-based nonprofit called the International Museum of Carousel Art is willing to operate it, plus give the city 10% of the profits if West Haven can give it a home and a museum building. They approached us. They, they know there's a rich history here in West Haven. There's a, a willingness to, to have a carousel back on our shoreline. I mean, just look at this. Mayor Edward O'Brien believes it could be a big boost to the West Haven shoreline. Thousands of people every week come to West Haven in the summertime and, and use our shoreline. There's a lot of hope the carousel will come, but Mayor O'Brien says it cannot come out of the taxpayer's pocket. There really can't be a cost on the taxpayer. And the city of West Haven right now, like a lot of other towns, are, you know, and have some financial difficulties. The plan is to seek out grant money through the Department of Tourism or Economic Development. There's plenty of work to be done, but hope of reclaiming Savin Rock's heyday is high. At this time, it's a vision. And it's a dream, and West Haveners are very good at, at making those dreams come true, and we will get this accomplished somehow. And the price tag for the project would mostly include building the pavilion housing that Carousel Museum. Price range could be from $350,000 up to a million, depending on the design. Scott McDonald, News 8.